Welcome back everyone to the official Uniboro YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to add and edit pick list values uh, from your pick lists on whichever object you're working on. Uh, so in today's example, uh, I have this field here called donor primary appeal. If I go and edit this, we can see that I have currently uh, three options. And so what I want to do so I maybe want to add a, a fourth option. So I currently have youth, food security in general, uh, and I want to add uh, a new option called um, animals. So in order to do this, what we're going to have to do is head into the back end of Salesforce. Uh, so we're going to have to go into our setup menu. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to click on this little gear icon up over here, and I'm going to click on setup. It's going to open in a new tab, the setup menu. Once it's finished loading, what you want to do is click on Object Manager. And this is going to give you a list of all the different objects we have in Salesforce. What we want to do now is in the Quick Find box, search for the object that that pick list value is in. So if I jump back to the record that I want to change, I can see that this is on the contact record. So I want to go ahead and search for contact. So if I switch back to the search, if I switch back to the setup, I can start typing in contact and eventually it will filter out until uh, I see my contact over here. So I'm going to click on that. Next, what I want to do is click on the fields and relationship tab on the left hand side. And once that's loaded up, again in the quick find box, we now want to search for whatever that pick list field is called. So here it is. I'm now going to click on it. And once I scroll down, I can see that here are the options that are currently available to me. So if I wanted to edit and change any of these, I can just click on the edit button. And I can then edit this choice. Or if I want to make one a default, I can do that there as well. I could also deactivate it so that this option is no longer available. And I also have the option of reordering them. Uh, if I want, let's say, the general to be on the top, I can easily do that as well. Uh, but since I want to add a new option, all I have to do is click on the new button and I can add as many pick list values as I want. So I can add my animals here. And if I want to add more, all I have to do is simply just hit on enter and then type in the new option over here. Uh, so I can say this just as a test, I could say a new uh, listing. Once you're done, all you have to do is click on save. And now we have our two new options over here. Now I can jump back into the record that I was working on. And if I give this page a refresh, I can go and edit that pick list value. And we can see that the two new values that I have put in are now visible here. So that is how you edit and update your pick list values. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks a lot, guys.